Hey everyone and welcome to this creative workshop and today we're going to be looking at Sabre which is a fantastic plugin for After Effects and is available free from Video Copilot and you can download that beneath this video and install it before you start this tutorial. The installation is very quick all you need to do is download it and double click on it and then open up After Effects again. You should then be able to find that your Sabre has been installed by going to Effect, Video Copilot and you'll see Sabre which means that it's been installed. Once you've got that installed, we're gonna create something like this today. However, I do want you to have a play with it and you don't have to create exactly what I'm gonna make here. There's so many fun options in this and you could come up with something completely original that looks fantastic. And just to show you how quick Sabre is at applying fantastic effects, check this out. If I just go up to this preset up here, I can choose one of these options and immediately change the look of my project and isn't that fantastic that's so quick and yet it does so much so let's get started and let's have some fun with Sabre so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composition and I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to start off by writing some text and I'm just going to write AE for After Effects and over in the character panel on the right hand side, I'm just gonna increase the size. If you can't see this, make sure that you have the character panel selected if you can't see this drop down. Otherwise, just go to Window, Workspace, and choose Default. And if you still can't see it, reset Default to Save Layout, and then you'll find it down here. So I'm just gonna increase the size of my text, and I'll drag it into position. The next thing we need to do is create a solid layer that we are then going to apply the Sabre effect to. So if I go to Layer, New, Solid, and this doesn't matter what color it is, I just click OK. And then I go to Effects, Video Copilot, Sabre. And there we have our first Sabre. Now we can't see our text because it's below the solid layer. I'm just going to drag it underneath it so I can see them both at the same time. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the effects controls here on the left hand side and we're going to go down to customize core and that's what this is. This is a Sabre core. If I now choose core type, so we're on Sabre and I choose a text layer and I'm going to select none and change it to the text that I've written which is AE. And now the Sabre has connected itself to the text that I've written. Now using some of these effects controls down the side, I can adjust the glow intensity, the glow spread, the core size, and many more other options which we'll get into later. You can also hide the text layer and you can actually see your effect underneath. One of the interesting things is, if I have the text layer selected and I move the text layer, it moves both the core and the text together. If I have just the solid layer where I applied the effect and move it, it moves just that independently. So I generally just move the text layer as it moves both together. Okay, let's change how this core looks then. So if I go back to my solid layer, all the controls will appear in the effects control. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose neon. And neon gives me this wonderful pink glow. I can change the pink glow to any color I wish actually, by just going over to the color glow. But I'm gonna change mine back to the pink for the moment. But it's a good idea for you now to play with some of these options and just see what you can do. For example, if I go to the arc reactor, I get this wonderful electric effect. Torch looks fantastic. And actually if I hide the text layer, look at that, brilliant. And there are so many effects that you can just apply and make your text look so interesting. And there's lots of effects controls that we can actually animate as well on top of this. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm gonna go back to the neon look 
and I'm going to make sure that my text is seen. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write another text layer here. And I'm going to go layer, new, solid. And again, I'm going to go to effects, video copilot, and saber. And then from the customized core, I'm going to choose text layer. And this time I'm going to choose the saber. And I'm just going to bring down the glow intensity for the moment. And I'm going to change that to neon as well. Now you'll notice that the gray layer from the After Effects is underneath both of these layers and I can't see the glow. If I move that up to here, it blocks out and hides the other layers underneath. So what I've got to do is I've got to apply a screen to these solid layers. Now if you don't see the options for the mode here and the ability to choose screen like this, you then need to show these hidden panels. To get these blending mode options, you need to right click on the bar here anywhere, go to columns and choose modes. Then you'll be able to select all the blending modes. Now I'm going to bring in a background as well. So what I've done is I've got a background from Cyberpunk 2077 and you can download that from underneath this video or you can go online and find whatever background you like just to have an experiment with. And I'm going to drag that onto my timeline and underneath the other elements. Now I much prefer the glow on the Sabre text than I do on the AE text here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the solid layer which had that Sabre effect placed on it. And if I go to my effects controls, I'm just going to bring down my glow intensity to 44. And this will be different on your compositions depending on the size of your composition or the size of your text. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text color here. So if I double click on my text layer and get the fill color, and this time I'm going to use a pipette, and I'm actually going to select a pink from the background there. And I'm going to do the same for the saber layer as well. So I'm going to go to the text, I double click on it so it highlights all the text. I go to the fill color, and this time I'm going to use the pet from the first one. There we go. Now, the white line, which represents the core that goes around the edge of this text here, is a bit thinner than the one that goes around the bottom here. I prefer the thinner one. So I'm just going to go and select the solid layer that had the saber effect added for the bottom text. And I'm just going to bring down the core size a little bit. And then I'm just going to increase the glow intensity. And that's already starting to look cool and it's so easy. And finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a different way you can add a core. So if I go to layer new solid, I've created another solid. And remember we can't see anything here because it's over the top of all the other layers. And this time, making sure that that layer is selected, if I get the pen tool, I can draw a shape. Uh, my shape's only going to be a single line here like this. But you could draw around pictures or whatever you like. And the saber will attach to it this way. So if I go to Effects, Video Copilot Saber. And this time, when I go to the Customize Core option, I choose layer masks and it attaches itself to the layer mask already. And you can see I can carry on drawing on the layer mask and the core will associate itself with the layer mask. Now I only wanted the line here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose screen again from the modes.
and perhaps bring the glow spread just down a little bit. And there we go. There's our After Effects Sabre logo. Now just take this a little bit further. What I'm also going to do is show you how this could possibly be animated. If I hide the text layers, let's make these animate. So if I select my first solid layer, which I attach the Sabre to, and I bring the playhead to the beginning of the sequence, I can then bring end offset down to zero. If I click the little stopwatch symbol for the keyframe, I can then move it to say one second and increase this to a hundred. And now this would animate and draw. Now that looks really cool. Now by simply repeating that process for the other layers, I can create a really cool animated logo. Now from here, I suggest you just play around with the effects and have fun. Um, one of the nice effects I quite like if you're using the neon, if I go to the effects controls up here, is to add some flicker. I can adjust the intensity of the flicker, the speed of it, and the randomization of it. And now you can see that that's got a bit of a pulse to it. And you can also add certain glow distortion effects, chord distortion effects. From here on in, it's really, really easy just to have fun and play with this amazing tool. I hope you found this introduction helpful. And if you did, remember to like the video and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on tutorials. Thanks for watching.